Hi everyone. So we've been talking about self-care this week and today I want to talk about the spirit. So we've done the body, we've done the mind, and today we're going to talk about the spirit or the soul or our emotions. Um, so we're going to touch on that today. So for those of you that are new here to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sally Harris and I am a mom who walked a difficult road with my own daughter for over 10 years. And while her life spiraled, so did mine. And I promise you it does not have to be that way. And so today let's finish this week out about self-care and um, let's dive into this topic today. So, you know, the body, mind, spirit, the connection is so amazingly, we are such complex beings, we were created that way. And it wasn't until I really had fallen apart with my health that I realized how important the three are together. Um, it wasn't until I had the health issues, right, and emotional issues and depression and anxiety and was, um, you know, I still had my faith, but yet I felt like I was falling apart. And so I wasn't utilizing the three together the way they should be. And so today, um, I just want to mention that. And so we've got our physical, we've got our body, right? That's obvious. Um, but the spirit or the soul, some people will say it's your intellect, your emotions, your will, and your conscience. Um, you know, our mind, our will, and emotions are connected through our endocrine system, our nervous system, and our immune system, which is why all of the, you know, when we start having the, the thought issues that we've talked about, the will, the emotions, all the things that are happening, it affects us physically through those systems in our body. Um, many people will talk about that with um, obviously the immune system, especially where you, when you're stressed out, you end up catching an illness. Maybe you catch the flu or a cold or something. It's because your immune system goes down, right? Because you are stressed out. Um, one thing that I did, I love, um, it's called the three C's. I've heard uh, it many times and it's communion, compassion, and connection. So communion, compassion, and connection. And those are the three things that we're meant to have, right? You're not meant to do this life alone. Whether you're in good times or bad, you're still not meant to do life alone. We're meant to be in community. And the communion and the connection with other people is just so important. And I know, um, as I've mentioned before, I isolated during this difficult time with my daughter where I should have been putting myself out there in hopes that I could find someone that would be able to empathize and help me, which is why I do what I do now, is I love walking alongside other moms while they're going through this tough tough season because this isn't something you plan for. This isn't something you were taught how to handle. Um, none of us were, right? So the body-mind-spirit connection is just so powerful. And I just encourage you, uh, regardless of your faith, um, you know, for me, I'm a Christian and that faith has gotten me to where I am today and it has grown and um, just in abundance over the past several years. You know, like I mentioned, we're complex beings. And so your body, your mind, your will, your emotions, all of those things together, they're going to affect one another. And I firmly believe that it all starts with our thoughts. Um, and we've talked about that a couple days ago. Um, but taking control over your thoughts so it doesn't affect your body, so it doesn't affect every other aspect of your life. So I hope that helps someone today. Um, for those of you that I've never talked with before, if you are at a point in this journey that you are sure that you are ready for some help, you are ready to um, make the necessary changes in your own life to better yourself, um, in hopes to better your relationship with your child long term, then I would encourage you to reach out on the discovery call, the link you can find below. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so if that is you, I would love to chat with you. It's a 30 minute consultation. It's not a coaching call. It's an opportunity for us to get to know each other a little bit better and I can make recommendations on how I feel I could help you or not. Um, but you and I would have that opportunity to talk. So um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.